Hey everyone and welcome back to Programming Fields. I am Omis Rana. In the last video of Laravel 11 series, we had explored what interfaces are, its implementation along with the dependency injection and its creation in Laravel 11 using addition command. Today, we will be diving deep into a powerful new feature introduced in Laravel 11 that is enums. But before we jump in, let's rewind a bit enums. This is a sort for enumerations. So basically, enumerations are essentially a collection of predefined constants. You can say that represent a set of allowed values. So let's imagine a scenario where you are working with an order status in your e-commerce application. So the status can only be pending, approved, shipped and delivered. Using enums, it allows you to define these specific options and restrict the values a property can hold. So why use enums in Laravel 11? You will have the question in your mind. Well, there are several compelling reasons for using enums in Laravel 11. Firstly, enums enhance type safety. So by defining the allowed values, you prevent accidental assignment of invalid data leads to more robust and predictable code. Secondly, enums improve code readability. So instead of using magic strings like pending throughout your code, enums provide clear and descriptive labels and it makes your application easier to understand for you and your fellow developers. Finally, enums contribute to a better developer experience. Features like IDE auto-completion, based on enums options, it saves your time and effort while coding. So throughout this video, we will explore everything you need to know about enums in Laravel 11. I will cover creating enums, using them in your application effectively, and delve into some best practices to ensure you leverage this feature effectively. Alright, so let's jump into the practical part. So I have navigated to the VS Code Editor and I already have one Laravel 11 application setup. And in the very first step, we will be creating enums in Laravel 11. The beauty of enums in Laravel 11 lies in their ease of creation because Laravel 11 provides a dedicated artisan command to streamline the process. So let's see how it works. So let's switch back to terminal. And here I will type php artisan make. And it returned all the available commands using this make. So if we scroll up, then we can see we have the command make colon enum. So basically this will create enum. All right. Now we will explore this enum command. So we will type php artisan make enum dash dash help. Okay. So here we can see it provided the list of available commands just like argument. So we will have to provide the enumeration name as name. And here it returned options like hyphen s for a string, hyphen i for int, hyphen f for force. And basically this will override the existing enumeration class. All right. So these are the available options inside the make enum command. So we can generate enum for a string and integer as well. All right. By default, it will generate integer. So let's see if I will create php artisan make colon enum. Let's suppose order status. All right. Let's hit enter and it generated enum inside app folder. So let's check the application and inside app, we can see it created order status.php and inside this, it created enum order status and by default, this will be integer. That means we will have to define enum type as integer here. Now in the second option, let's see if I want to generate a string enumeration. Here I will specify string and this time I will change this name as new order status. All right. Let's hit enter and yes, it generated new order status with return type string. That means this enumeration type will be a string. All right. So here we show by default, it generated integer type of enumeration. And if we want to specify the return type of this enumeration, then we will have to pass the flag. All right. Similarly, if we will pass integer just like this, and here I will change this name as int order status. And inside this, we can see it added this return type as integer by using this way we can generate enumeration now let's see how we can define enum constants inside this enum so let's switch to this new order status enum and inside this we had created this string return type all right so here we will define order status so we will be using case just like pending equals pending 
all right just like this and similarly we can define more status just like approved shipped delivered and cancelled all right similarly we will be updating this order status so here we will have approved shipped delivered and cancelled okay here we have defined these enum constants in the case if we want to customize this label for the readability purpose then we can define any custom function inside this so let's suppose if we want to customize the label of this status so we can define a function as get label and uh, here we can define the return type as a string okay and inside this function i will create one variable as label and we will have to define one array just like array and inside this i will call this constant variable so i will write self and i will call this pending and here i will define associative array key as descriptive label that will be readable just like pending status that means this order is to be processed all right similarly for other order status it's like approved and this is let's suppose ready for shipment and shipped means it is dispatched right order dispatched or let's suppose product dispatched yes and for delivered product is received okay and lastly we have cancelled in this case order is cancelled all right and here we will have to return label and inside this array we will pass dollar this value okay so here we have defined this enum constants and also we have customized the label of these constants so now we will see how we can use this enum inside controller or any respective class so let's see we have controllers as user controller and inside this i already created this function as get user now i will create one more function as public function test enum all right and inside this controller i will import that enum so i will write use app slash new order status all right so inside this function let's suppose i will dump new order status and i will call a status as approved all right now let's execute this function so i will create route let's suppose test dash enum all right and this will call this test enum function now let's run this application so application is already running now let's switch back to the browser and let's access that url test enum yes so we can see we received name as approved and value as approved all right this is basically a constant label and this is actual value so by using this way we can use enums in laravel 11 also we can use this enumeration in the model typecasting that we will see in the upcoming videos when we will create an e-commerce application now we will see how we can override the enumeration so let's suppose if you defined any constants inside any enumeration just like we have int order status enumeration so inside this if we have defined any constant as just like this all right and if you want to generate the same enumeration using the terminal let's switch to the terminal and let's try to generate the same enumeration so we will write int order status all right then it's thrown error enum already exists but in case if you want to generate this forcefully then you will have to define one flag as force so here i have passed two flags int and force so basically this will generate integer type of enumeration and it will override the existing one so let's hit enter now yes it generated the same file again and the written code is overridden all right so it totally created a first one as we wrap up this video let's revise your understanding of enums in laravel 11 we have explored what enums are how to create and use them effectively in laravel 11 and why this is so important so thank you for joining this deep dive into laravel 11 enums i hope this video provided valuable insights into using enums effectively in your laravel application 
If you have any questions or doubt, feel free to leave a comment below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe Programming Fields for more Laravel tutorials. See you soon in the next interesting video for you. Until then, happy coding.